Picture this, it's 8, 9 p.m. on the weeknight, and you get that little inkling for something sweet, but you don't have any candy, you don't have any ice cream, so what do you do? Well, what if I told you you could have these cookies in just 15 minutes and four ingredients? What I love about this cookie recipe is how damn simple it is. It's literally four ingredients and you probably have most of these ingredients on hand already. And yes, you can have them in your mouth within 15 minutes. So we're gonna start with our binders and I'm using some ripe bananas and all we're gonna do is mash these up. The riper, the better in my opinion. Next, we're also gonna add just a little bit of some peanut butter, just to provide a little bit of nuttiness and sweetness in there. For our base, we're gonna be using some steel cut oats and I like to use these over something like an instant oat because they're a lot smaller and I find the mouthfeel and texture is a lot better. And I also feel like it provides more of a nutty flavor that I myself enjoy. So that's why I decided to use steel cut oats versus instant oats, but yeah, you could definitely substitute instant oats if you wanted to. And then to balance this out, we're gonna add in some dark chocolate chips. You know, who doesn't love dark chocolate? It provides that nice, mildly sweetness that I'm looking for. You know, I'm not trying to find something that's just a sugar bomb. So I find that dark chocolate is the chocolate for me to use. So without further ado, let's create our cookie batter. stir this until you kind of get it to this consistency. You may have to add a little bit more or a little bit less of the steel cut oats, just depending on what you're looking for. But this is about the consistency that I'm looking for. Now we're just gonna add our chocolate chips and then they're ready for the oven. So you should have around 15 cookies, um, but if you're like me and you eat the batter, you will have a little bit less. Now before we put these in the oven, I am gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of coarse salt. And this coarse salt is gonna bring out all the flavors in the cookie. So I guess technically we're up to five ingredients, but everyone should have salt on hand. And definitely try to use something more coarse. Don't use fine table salt because then you could oversalt them, which we don't want. So try unsalting one cookie and salt the rest of them and taste the difference. And it's actually astonishing how much salt brings out that extra flavors and makes it a much better cookie. We have our finished cookies right here. If you have enjoyed the content so far, definitely leave a like and subscribe down below. But let's give these a taste test. You can see you've got some nice crispy edges. So I decided to broil them for just like a minute on the end to kind of get some of those nice crispy bits and those little salt flakes in there. I'm telling you, these are super, super good. So these are a really well-balanced cookie. I don't like things that are overly sweet. So these are a nice balance for me. You got the dark chocolate, the banana, for some sweetness in there, and then that peanut butter gives it kind of a nutty flavor. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. The recipe and the instructions will be down in the description below, so definitely take a look if you wanna make these yourself. But that, it will wrap it up for me. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>